So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, man. I have a podcast with two other incredible creators. It's called Laced Up. And in that podcast, we do a lot of basketball conversations, but also we do some story times. And I tell a story of how I threw a guy through a glass window when he was trying to fight me in college. Anyways, I thought you guys would be interested in that. So I'm going to leave a link to that in the end screen. But let's get to this video because there's a lot to talk about here. We're going to cover two players in particular that missed OTAs today. One being Aaron Rodgers, and there's a lot of rumors surrounding Aaron Rodgers, and the other being Deshaun Watson, and Deshaun Watson's a little bit more straightforward. Now, before we get to the content, do me a favor. You guys already know I have a very complicated relationship with the NFL, despite me giving them all of this free publicity. Our buddy Roger Goodell likes to copyright claim and sometimes demonetize my content. And the reason why demonetization is so bad for a YouTube channel is if YouTube can't make money off of your videos, then they're not going to show that video to a larger audience. Now, fortunately, if you sack the like button for the YouTube algorithm, you tell YouTube, yo, this content's so good that you need to push it out to a larger audience. That's all I care about, man. I just want to make sure as many of you lovely people watch my content. That's what keeps me going. That's why I pump out like three to five videos a day. Also, I'm giving away a pair of Apple AirPod Maxes to anyone that follows me on Instagram. And now that we get all that out of the way, Mike check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? Let's start with Deshaun Watson because I feel like Deshaun Watson's situation is a little less complicated than Aaron Rodgers' situation where he's literally trying to form a super team, apparently. But I digress. Check this out. The Houston Texans took the field for phase three of their offseason program, which is OTAs. And the best way I could describe OTAs is that they are voluntary training camp workouts. This is a very good opportunity opportunity for say the captain of the team and in this case the captain of the team being Deshaun Watson to come in check in with his center check in with the new wide receiver check in with his brand new head coach David Culley check in with all of the players and make sure that everyone's on the same page if David Culley happens to have new plays that he probably will have bear in mind the Houston Texans did go through a coaching change well OTAs would be the perfect time for him to show Deshaun Watson that type of situation and it's usually a good look for a quarterback to show up or sometimes players would be incentivized to show up to OTAs by including some sort of workout bonus if they do show up to OTAs, which is what Aaron Rodgers has. And well, Deshaun Watson's offseason has been very complicated to say the least. So today for the Houston Texans, OTA started and they're going to continue on May 26th through the May 27th. Then they're going to continue on June 1st, then June 3rd and 4th, then June 7th and 8th, and then June 10th and 11th. And their mandatory mini camp is scheduled for June 15th to June 17th. Now, in the case of Deshaun Watson, this is an individual that requested a trade from the Houston Texans in January. And this is just a normal situation. We've seen this happen billions of times. As a matter of fact, we made a video earlier today on Julio Jones literally doing the same thing, requesting a trade from the Houston Texans. But what made things complicated in the case of Deshaun Watson is out of nowhere, this very sketchy lawsuit was placed on him. Well, 22 different lawsuits were placed on him in March and April in the form of sexual assault and misconduct allegations during his massage sessions. And if you don't know that story, I made many, many videos on that story. So I'll make sure to try to link you at the end screen, but you should be able to find it on my channel as well. Now, since March, we haven't really heard a lot about the situation. As a matter of fact, the last time we made an update on the situation a week ago, all we really know is Deshaun Watson's camp is coming out and saying, hey, whoever's accusing me of these things needs to come out and like show their identity and say who they are. And they're kind of at a standoff between Deshaun Watson's camp and the ones that are accusing Deshaun Watson. And on top of this, Deshaun Watson's demanded a trade. And based off of the way the Houston 
Texans have gone about their offseason, it looks like they're preparing for life after Deshaun Watson. So check this out. The Houston Texans opened up OTAs with Terod Taylor. They had Ryan Finley on the roster. They drafted Davis Mills out of Stanford in the third round, which for lack of a way to explain it, imagine if Davis Mills is Mitchell Trubisky. He's a quarterback that's played in like 10 football games who has some good tape, but there are some holes to his game. Nevertheless, he has a lot of upside if he's developed properly, a great third round pick. They also signed journeyman backup Jeff Driscoll last week. Now, despite everything going on with Deshaun Watson, you think a team is scared of trading for Deshaun Watson? The Philadelphia Eagles are clearly the front runner to potentially land him, and that might be very relevant because apparently Deshaun Watson came out and said that he is not going to attend OTAs. He also reaffirmed that he still wants to be traded from the Houston Texans. This is a very big deal, but this doesn't really change anything, mainly because I've said this many times, it's in the Houston Texans' best interest to move on from Deshaun Watson, maybe trade him to the Philadelphia Eagles, get multiple first round picks, maybe get Jalen Hurts back, get some quality starters on the defensive side of the ball, and speed up your rebuild by three years maybe. Because Deshaun Watson still played his best football this past year that still wasn't enough to take you guys very far as a matter of fact you were the third worst team in the nfl so what's the point of having him if you still are going to be this horrible bear in mind the texans improved marginally at best so it makes a lot of sense why deshaun watson would still be making these trade demands now before we could even discuss a deshaun watson trade we need to figure out whether or not he's going to be good to play this year. The Philadelphia Eagles are three to one favorites on Ve in Vegas. The Carolina Panthers are three to one as well. Then you have the Washington football team at five to one, the Denver Broncos at six to one, and the Houston Texans at eight to one. And originally we thought he was going to stay in Houston. That was the favorite to open up this offseason. But now the Eagles are taking the lead, mainly because they could offer three first round picks. And that is exactly what the Houston Texans would need to make up for the horrible disaster that Bill O'Brien left behind prior to his departure. When they gutted out their team, traded away DeAndre Hopkins, alienated JJ Watt, overpaid for Laramie Tunsil via draft picks and of course signing him, and essentially handing the Miami Dolphins a future dynasty of a team. Now look guys, initially I wanted this video to be an update on both Aaron Rodgers and Deshaun Watson, and I guess I just had way too much information on the Deshaun Watson situation to get it to you guys, because the Aaron Rodgers bit is also going to be fairly long as well. So instead of getting a two video day, like I said in my Discord chat and in my previous video, we're gonna have a three video day today. So if you guys wanna keep updated with all of my progress and the content, I really highly recommend you you join my discord a link to that's in the description down below i apologize if you guys felt misled i really wanted to fit everything in one video but the aaron Rodgers situation is even crazier so i'm gonna go get to work on that video aside from that i'm your boy mike and i'm dropping our mic until our next upload